Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be filming a what I eat in a day today, like a full length YouTube video for the first time. So I didn't eat breakfast yet. It is a little later in the day. It's like, yeah, it's like 12, 15. Um, I had to drop my car off. So I just had some coffee. I put about, I don't know, like two tablespoons of beef towel in my coffee and grass fed half and half. I actually am trying to uh, slow it down on the dairy so I haven't been having as much butter I haven't been having as much like pasteurized cheese and that's really just to help with my autoimmune disorder as I've covered it has gotten a lot better but it's not a hundred percent better my digestive system is still definitely not up to the way that it was before I ever became vegan and ever started having digestive issues. So again, I'm just doing that to see if it will help. Somebody did actually reach out to me and tell me about a way of car eating carnivore called PKD, uh, which is paleo keto diet, I believe. And it's had a, about, I wanna say a 90% success rate of curing Crohn's and colitis. So I, so it basically is just meat eggs it's no dairy so i'm just trying to minimize the dairy that i'm having if you know i notice that it's really helping maybe i will go down to no dairy for a time just to continually heal my digestive system so yeah i mean i did have grass-fed half and half this morning in my coffee and then i had about 12 ounces of water as well um i know somebody was interested in knowing my water intake so i did about 12 ounces of water with um a pinch of redmond's real salt in it and about a quarter of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and that is all i've consumed so far today so i will bring you guys to my breakfast um, as soon as i start making it so i'm going to be trying these vital farms true blues being completely transparent i read that these just taste like normal eggs and they were like nine dollars so honestly i wouldn't <laughs> waste the money if you're you know like trying to budget so um, this is for me and my fiance. We're both pretty hungry, so we're having grass-fed burger patties too. Uh, I got them from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna be having three eggs. All right, guys, so I'm about to head back out. Um, I'm just having one more cup of decaf. I've covered my coffee addiction on my Instagram quite a bit, so this is going to hopefully be my last cup for the day, but it is decaf, so I guess it's a little better. Again, I just put beef tallow in it, about a tablespoon, and I put this grass-fed half and half, just a little splash. So yeah, I'll see you guys for my next meal, which will probably be dinner hey guys so i'm having my second meal um a lot of the time i do find myself doing like two mad but today's de definitely going to be three meals um this is like kind of more of a snack but it's about a half pound of ground beef with just redmond's real salt on it and i don't know about another 12 ounces of water with um some lemon juice in it no apple cider vinegar or salt in this cup of water so it's not like i'm putting that in my water every time throughout the day but yeah, this is, I guess, technically my lunch. So I just wanted to do a little intermission to speak more about the diet I mentioned in the beginning of this video. It's called PKD, and thank you again to the per person that reached out to me and told me about it. it the person who told me about it, um, who like explained a lot of it, um, they're not the first person that's mentioned PKD to me. I actually had other people comment about it and I didn't really know what it was at the time. So I'm really glad that this person reached out to me and explained it more in depth and gave me a really thorough explanation of how to do it. Um, I know they said that they learned about it on a Hungarian podcast, I believe. So I will tell you guys the podcast in case you wanna check it out. Okay, so the podcast, I guess it is the podcast of this clinic that this person follows. It's called Paleo Medicina. I'm definitely not saying that correctly, but it's like paleo spelt normally and then M E D I C I N A. Thank you, Mika, again for telling me about this. So, this clinic has a 99% success rate with curing people with Crohn's and colitis, and it's recommended to the patients to eat nothing but salt meat and fat and the protein to, uh the fat to protein ratio is two to one there's no dairy no seasonings and there's also no supplements so you have to use discretion um but if you are suffering with one of these health issues you could consider doing all of those things or implementing some of them if you're already doing carnivore going you know higher fat and cutting out dairy probably isn't that different from what you're already doing and it's really all up to you and again use discretion think about your own state of health and what's practical for you but 
what this person and what I found to be so fascinating is with supplements especially, they tend to have things like um, brown rice additives in them or some other kind of plant additive or filler. And those, if you think about it, have a lot of oxalates and I'm sure can be very toxic. So those can definitely be irritating your gut. So again, I hope that this advice helps you guys. I know I have quite a few people who are suffering with digestive issues on here. So I found this advice to be super helpful and I feel like you guys will as well. So personally for me, how I'm changing my diet and what I've been doing the past few days, as I kind of covered earlier, I'm trying to go a lot lower with dairy. I'm trying to only do either grass-fed or organic dairy or better yet, raw when I can get it. I, I'm trying to do only raw cheese from now on. If I really notice that going lower with the dairy is helping with inflammation, like with my skin, because again, my skin is, it's improved so much, but I still do get breakouts and I'm not expecting to never get a breakout, but it's been more apparent on my jaw um, the past like two weeks or so. And again, I don't, I'm just trying to single out what it might be. And I think it might be pasteurized dairy, pasteurized cheeses. That's just my guess. So I'm going to go a little lower with it, only do organic or raw and see if that helps. And again, just overall during the day, have a lot less dairy. Like today I had a splash of half, of grass fed half and half in both of my cups of coffee and that's probably going to be it for today and that's actually the least amount that i probably had in a day in a while so something else that i've been trying to implement is drinking less coffee i've spoken about this on my instagram a lot but i used to have a huge problem with coffee i would have regular caffeinated coffee up to like five times a day obviously i knew at the time that it was not good for me but i really didn't care especially when i was vegan and i did not have a lot of energy on a daily basis i really didn't care but this diet the way that i eat now has been making my body so much more sensitive to everything and coffee included i used to be able to have a cup and i'm not saying this is a good thing but i used to be able to have a cup of caffeinated coffee at like 1 a.m. and it wouldn't affect me at all. Now, I've gotten myself down to two, maybe three cups a day, but they would they used to all be caffeinated. Now I'll do like maybe one or two cups of caffeinated coffee, today it was just one, and then the rest of the day, if I have one or two more cups, it'll be decaf. So I'm working on it. I know that coffee is a plant i know that it's a bean so i'm sure that it has oxalates and things that aren't very good for me in it i don't necessarily think it's necessary for me to get myself down to having no coffee i do genuinely really enjoy it which is another reason i used to have so much coffee so i don't think it's necessary but then again if you guys have had success um especially with gut issues with eliminating coffee, please do feel free to share in my comments. If it's something that will heal my digestive system all the way, like if that one cup of coffee could really be harming me that much, I would love to hear your perspective. So, so less dairy, less coffee, and also I've been trying to do less condiments. I, I To be fair, when I was vegan, I was so crazy about condiments. It was like really bad. I, condiments, sauces, like I feel like that's definitely kind of a joke is that vegans love sauces. And I was totally one of them. I loved like salad dressings. I loved hot, I, I was obsessed with hot sauce. I still have been up until pretty recently and I'll get into that. Um, yeah, I love marinara sauce. When I was a kid, this was, you know, before I even became vegan, I loved ketchup. I would literally put it on everything. I would, I would, I asked my mom if I could put it on pancakes once and she was like, hell no. I mean, she didn't say it to me like that, but she was like, that is where I draw the line. So it's just always been my thing. So this has been a, a pretty big adjustment because I, you, uh, up until like maybe a week ago, I was putting Tabasco sauce on almost all of my meals. And it, I'm, I know what I'm doing. Like I, I'm not like oblivious to the fact that that was probably really bad for my gut. I'm sure hot sauce, it's made, um, it was Tabasco sauce and I'm pretty sure it's made with jalapenos. So 
there's definitely some bad stuff in there. There's a lot of salt, and I don't think salt is bad. Um, I use Redmond's Real Salt all throughout the day in all of my meals, but again, just all of those ingredients together, probably not good. So I was trying to just use less of it, but that, it just doesn't work. I'm like too, I, I just love hot sauce. I love putting it on everything. I used to get Chipotle and put like, Mold, like probably like a tablespoon or two of Tabasco on my Chipotle on something that's already spicy. So again, it's probably not shocking that I have got issues, but at least they've gotten significantly better since I stopped uh, being vegan. I mean, they've, to be completely honest, my colitis has almost completely healed. Like I haven't had another flare up. So it's not like the addition of these things has been causing flare-ups at least. But again, I want my digestive system to basically go back to being perfect, like the way it was when I was a kid and like I never remembered having a digestive issue. So that's my goal eventually and that's what I'm hoping implementing these new rules, or I don't really wanna say rules, but implementing these new standards into my diet. So yeah, I hope it helps. This is like super recent for me. This is like this past week. So, you know, I'm, as I've said in other videos, I'm gonna keep, keep tweaking things and see how my body reacts. I, I definitely, unfortunately think my body is starting to become more sensitive to dairy, like pasteurized dairy. And I kind of saw this coming. I was honestly really shocked that I did well with dairy at all after being vegan for so long, but I don't know, potentially I'm thinking that maybe my body, like picking up on the nutrients that are in it, it, it like didn't, it, you know, like allowed me to have dairy. That's like reaching. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. But I think that I'm becoming more sensitive. So I think that doing the grass fed and raw is going to be my, you know, like new standard for the dairy that I consume. Hey guys, so it is now about 9 p.m. I usually don't eat dinner this late, but I actually did have a really busy day. I was in and out of the house all day, so uh, late dinner tonight. We're actually finishing this carton of True Blues. So they do look just like absolutely normal, regular Vital Farms eggs. And yeah, I'm gonna be having uh, pork chops too. I actually have been wanting like just beef lately. I feel like my body has really been craving simplicity. Um, and it seems to be better for my digestive system, but tonight we just happened to have pork chops out. Um, we have, I have to go food shopping and buy more beef too, so pork chops tonight. So I'm going to be having three eggs with um, some Redmond's Real Salt on them and two of these pork chops. Hey guys, um, so no need for alarm. For some reason my face always gets red like this after I eat, especially eggs, but... I never notice any other weird things when I eat eggs, so I don't think I'm like allergic to them, but I don't know, my face tends to get red like this when I eat eggs. Anyway, I wanted to just add at the very end of the video, so somebody asked me about my water intake and um, like supplements and stuff, so I did just wanna add, I probably had about three to four more glasses of water throughout the day. Um, I had a glass of seltzer when I was out with my friends, and then I had like I'm gonna have another cup of water when I work out in a little bit. I'm just doing like a simple cardio workout. I do my stationary bike most of the time and then I do like calisthenic ab workouts and stuff a few times a week, nothing crazy. So yeah, I mean, I probably put the Redmond salt in like one more glass and then um, apple cider vinegar in one more glass earlier. But again, otherwise I just had normal glasses of water. Um, I didn't take any supplements today as I discussed in that little tidbit a little earlier. I'm not gonna be taking any supplements. I'm literally just going to be eating meat, eggs, beef tallow, uh, minimizing the amount of dairy I'm eating, minimizing the amount of coffee. I didn't have another cup of coffee, so that means I only had one caffeinated cup of coffee today, which is pretty amazing for me, and no condiments. So I'm gonna see how this goes. I'll keep you guys updated, and yeah, thanks so much for watching if you made it to the end, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.